Hi everyone, welcome to Miraculous Microbes. Today I would like to discuss about mycorrhizae. In the last video about the interaction among the microbes in the soil itself, I mentioned about the mycorrhizae in the symbiotic association. Mycorrhizae is a symbiotic association between the green plant and fungus. Let's get started. In 1842, Vitadini was the first to recognize the possible beneficial role of fungal mycelia which mantle the root of the higher plants. In 1885, Frank named about this association as a mycorrhizae. The mycorrhizae or a symbiotic association between the plant root and fungus with bidirectional nutritional exchange between the partners. Autotropic host plant act as the carbon source for the fungus while the fungus supplies the mineral nutrients to the plants. About 90% of all land plants are associated with mycorrhiza. The mycorrhizal association is not available in Cruciferae, Chenopodia DCA and Residaceae. Next is the features of mycorrhizae. Scanning in 1988 briefly pointed out the common feature of the mutualistic symbionts, which includes the absence of any phytopathological symptoms in the partners during the active phase of the mutualism. Second is the presence of common interference between cells of the partners with the predominant type of the perisymbiotic membrane surrounding intracellular symbionts. The third is the presence of various type of the phagocyte like structure during the establishment of the symbionts and during harvesting phase to control the symbiotic population by the host. Types of mycorrhiza Peterson and Forker in 1994 classified the mycorrhizae into seven distinct types which are ectomycorrhizae, vesicular asbuscular mycorrhizae, ectendomycorrhizae, ericoid mycorrhizae, sentinoid mycorrhizae, orchidoid mycorrhizae, and monotropoid mycorrhizae. First, we are going to see about the ectomycorrhizae. Ectomycorrhizae is commonly called as sheathing mycorrhiza. They occur in 3% of all seed plants in the forest of temperate region, especially on pine, beech, spur, bridge, etc. Generally, the, they cause extensive branching and growth of roots and modification of the branching pattern, such as racemose type in dicots and diatomus in the gymnosperm. In beech, the ultimate lateral rootlets are differentiated into long and short roots. Long roots shows the indefinite growth and their branches are the short root that are thickened, forked and mycorrhizal. They appear in a various colors like white, brown, yellow, black, etc. which are depending on the color of the fungus. The fungus enter the cortex forming the heartage net but never goes inside the endodermis or steel. They form a mantle of varying thickness. Majority of the fungi belong to the agaricales of hymenomycetes under Basidiomycotina. Most of the members are belongs to the genera Amanita, Tricholoma, Bolitus, Rasula, Lactarius, etc. Members of Gastromycetes under Basidiomycotina like rhizophogon and scleroderma are involved in this process. Some member of the ascomycotina like gyometra esculenta all species of the tuber form the mycorrhizae. This picture shows the ectomycorrhizal association with the plant. Next type of the mycorrhizae is the vesicular asbescular mycorrhizae simply called as BAM. It is a type of the endomycorrhizal association where both vesicles and arbuscules are developed together. Worm is by far the commonest of all mycorrhizae and has been reported in more than 90% of the land plants. They are found in the bryophytes, 
petrodophytes, gymnosperm, and most of the angiosperm, commonly in leguminaceae, rosaceae, graminae, and palmae. Worm is not found in the ericaceae and orchidaceae, where other type of association is available. Worm has even been reported in lower Devonian plant, Rhinia. Worm is produced by aseptate mycelial fungi belong to the endogonaceae under mucorails of zyzomycotina and those members produced zyzospores. The important genera involved in the worm are glomus, gyrospora, aclospora, etc. Most of the members are not culturable. Worm is so named because of the presence of two characteristic structure that is vesicles and arbuscules. The vesicles are thin or thick walled vesicular structure produced intracellularly and stored materials like polyphosphate and other minerals. The arbuscules are repeated diatomaceously branched hostoria which grow intracellularly. The arbuscules live for four days and then get lights releasing the stored food as oil droplets, mostly polyphosphate. There is no fungus mantle but only the loose and very sparse network of the septate hyphae spread into the soil. These hyphae be a different type of the spores, chlamydospores or aggre aggregation of the spores into a sporocarp or zyzospores. The superficial hyphae bear branches that penetrate the epidermis and then grow intracellularly only in the cortex. Intracellular hyphae form arbuscules inside the parenchyma of cortex by repeated diatomaceous branching of the penetrating hyphae. The cell membrane of the penetrated cell is immaginated and covers the asbuscules. Hyphae also develop both inter and intracellular thick walled vesicles. The chlamydospores may germinate on nutrient agar, but the hyphae stop growing when the food inside the spores is used up. Thus, they cannot be subcultured. This type of the association was present very early in the evolution of the land plants. Kitchen and the Lang in 1921 reported the worm-like organism with Rhinae and Astroxylon. Later, Pyrozinski and Malloc in 1975 proposed the mycorrhization or licentiation association as a prelude to the land plant evolution. This picture shows the worm relationship with the plant. Third type of mycorrhizae is the ericoid mycorrhizae. This is actually a type of the endomycorrhiza. Ericoid mycorrhizae are found in the different members of the ericaceae like erica, claruna, vaccinum, rhododendron, etc. The fungi are slow growing septate and mostly sterile. They are mostly culturable. Both Pezella ericae and Claveria vermiculata have been isolated from rhododendrons. During this association, the rootlets of the plants are covered by very sparse, loose, dark septate hyphae that penetrate the cortex forming the intracellular coils. After three to four weeks, the coils degenerate like arbuscules of the vascular asbuscular mycorrhizae. Most of the members of the ericaceae grow in the acid soil with less amount of the pasporous and nitrogen nutrition. The fungus gets the pasposynthetate from the host and improves the mineral uptake and the nutrition of the host, especially pasporous and nitrogen. Many mycotropes of the ericaceae show the high resistance to the metals like zinc and copper. 
The mycorrhizal plant also shows a high tolerance to these metals, which is totally absent in the non-infected plants. This picture shows the ericoid mycorrhizal addition. Fourth type of the mycorrhizae is the ectendomycorrhizae, which is otherwise called arbitoid. Some members of the family Ericaceae and members of the other families of the Ericales have the mycorrhizal intermediate in form between ecto and endomycorrhizae type, which is called as the ectendomycorrhizae. Arbustus and Arctostaphylos of the Ericaceae show this type of the mycorrhizal association. In Arbusters, the root system is differentiated into long and short roots. The short roots are swallowed and covered by the hyphal mantle. Heart edge net is absent in this association, but intracellular coils develop in the outer cortical cells. Nothing is known about this fungi involved in this association. This picture shown the ectendomycorrhizal association with the plant. Fifth type of the mycorrhizae is the gentinoid mycorrhizae. Seedling of some members of the gentinaceae get infected within two weeks of the germination. In root, the cortical cell become full of the irregular coils of the aseptate hyphae. With the time, the hyphae become lysed. The vesicles are occasionally seen attached to these coils. Sixth type of the mycorrhizae is the orchidoid mycorrhizae. Orchids produce millions of tiny seeds per capsules, weighing about 0.3 to 14 microgram. The embryo of the seed contains 10 to 100 cells and there is virtually no storage of the food. The embryo is encircled in a thin walled net like testa that helps in their dispersal. Thus, majority of the seeds are unable to germinate without exogenous supply of the carbohydrates. Therefore, mycorrhizal association is obligatory for the seeds to germinate. The fungus provides the carbon nutrition to the seeds. Initially, the fungus enters the embryo and colonize, being restricted to the cortical cells and provide the nutrition. For non-green orchids, this is obligatory throughout their lives. Apparently, it is a case of the parasitism by orchids on the mycorrhizal fungi. The fungi like Rhizoctonia are recognized by the hyphal characteristics Corticium, Certobesidium, etc. of Aphylloporales are associated in this type of the mycorrhiza. Last type of the mycorrhizae is the monotropoid mycorrhizae. Monotropha hyphophytis is a non-green saprophytic herb. It has short fleshy roots that are invested with the hyphal sheath and often forming a heartage net in the cortical zone. Due to the absence of the chlorophyll, they are unable to synthesize and supply the carbohydrate to the fungus. Bolitus is a mycorrhizal fungus associated with a root of both pine and monotropha. When glucose was injected into the phloem of the pinus tree, significant amount of the radioactive glucose was recorded in the monotropha after 5 days. This indicates the fungus bolitus acts as the bridge between the monotropha and the pine plants. Similarly, Pasperus 32, that is the radioactive isotope of the Pasperus injected into the monotropha, was also detected in the pine root within 2 hours. The above fact indicates a bidirectional flow of the nutritional between the plants through the fungus bolitus. Thank you. I hope this video given enough information about the mycorrhizal and its types. I will catch you in the next video related to the microbiology.